Bell mouthing. Bell mouthing. What, what, what exactly it is? See, bell mouthing, first of all, is not for every standard exchange. This is for screw plug detection, where we have decided to thread the plug instead of big, big bolts and all that, and to bring down the size. We brought down the size drastically. But we are not the only ones. There are three, four companies throughout the world who have done it and who are doing it. The problem is the plug gets jammed. Why the plug gets stuck, I can get into all the details later on if you are interested. But if the plug gets stuck, then the whole purpose of the heat exchanger is lost. You will have to cut it open. So how and why does the plug get plug? Because the pressure is injected in such a way it actually bell mouths. You know, if you do the APA, you will know it is the first thread which is actually getting all the pressure. So it's wedge like action taking place to bell mouth the exchanger. So a bell mouth, so in that case, the, to take out the threads will be very difficult because the dowling is metal to metal contact. Okay, so the moment you try to take it out, there'll be a dowling of the threads, the whole exchange is ceased. The idea is not to allow it to bell mouth. So I looked at it this way. Can you hold it for a minute? I just looked at it this way. Not allowed it to bell mouth. What should I do? I should not allow it. So I should hold it like that. That's how the idea of the shrink ring came into the picture. And that is all all the problems world over. So, and these are the threads and things like that. So, it gives you a little more idea. And uh, you can go through if you want. Uh, yeah, this is the added thickness that we have put. This is the shrink ring. This is the normal diameter. Then, this portion is shrunk and put it. That is why the bell mouthing is stopped. So this is the FCA analysis to prove it to you that yes, the bell mouthing takes place and how it stops. This is the normal view button. And uh, if you can get in the prototype how the whole thing was really done. Basically, to make the first screw plug heat exchanger, the main part of that, that means the channel part, this is the plug and this is the uh, this uh, shrink ring, and that is how it was experimented, and then we went into. So instead of having fringes and all to join the channel to the main body, yeah. you will have this kind of uh, arrangement. Yeah. Like when you attach the channel to the main body, you need fringes and all. Ha, but here you there are no fringes. Yeah, fringes. yeah, there's no fringes here, as you can see. Ah. There are no yeah. fringes. That's another beauty of Despite the fact there are no fringes, the dismantling is very easy. Let me show you the assembly. Can we show the animated assembly? This is the assembly. Channel integrated with shell, the gasket going in, the tube bundle going in, and then the cylinder going in. The studs, the partition plates, compression ring, the split rings, push rods and studs. A ring, gasket, gasket retainer, and uh, end plate, again the push rods and the studs, finally the plug, which is screwed in. Then comes your push rods and studs again. That's it. Inlet and outlet nozzles, they are tightened with huge bolts because the pressure is very, very high. Now, you don't want to bring the heat exchanger down and then take it up during the shutdown. It's too time consuming. So what you would like to do is just maintain it without removing the exchanger from the stand. No pipelines, nothing. So this is why this is another reason why this is made. Moment you take the plug out, you take out the tube bundle, the exchanger shell remains at the same place. You don't have to cut the pipeline. You are not disturbing the heat exchanger at all. Otherwise, you have to. Otherwise, you have to take the heat exchanger. You have to cut out all the pipes, or you have to take out the flanges. All these nozzle flanges, whether they are welded or with whatever it is, both are very, very uh, difficult to take out. Thank you. So this becomes my. Thing.